in the Anderson, uh, they might have some trials and some chemo that they can use. So in my, we decided to do that. In the weekend state, we went down there and um, they put me on a chemical uh, Jim Sar Texas hair that I could get here. So we started doing the chemo. Well, I was, you know, you hear about chemo and you think, oh my gosh, it's just a horrible thing to go through. And I was petrified because I didn't know what this was going to do to me, you know. And, and I, so anyway, I was really frightened. So the morning I, first morning I got up to go get my chemo, the first thing I woke up in the morning was, I felt like the Lord said, my mercies are new every morning. Every, you know, every yes. morning, my yes. mercies are new. And I mean, I, I was just, it, that my first conscious thought, that's what it was. So it had to be God. You know, sometimes you wonder, is God really going to speak to you? Or, or oh, yeah. does he really speak to you? You know, and, but I knew that that was a, a, that was a God thing. So Amen. we went into the hospital and I went into the uh, oncology, Texas oncology. And um, they started the the uh, chemo, and the, it wasn't that bad actually. You know, getting the chemo wasn't bad at all. Uh, the side effects were was kind of bad, but it was so frightening because I didn't know what it was going to be really? like. Yeah. So um, anyway, so we we got through that. So I was on uh, Jimsar Texas hair for about 11 months, and this kept the tumors uh, under control pretty much in. Um, for 11 months, and so after about 11 months, they um, they started growing again. Well, they they say there's nothing that can make them grow away, but they can stop them from growing. So um, anyway, they started growing again. So after Christmas of 2008, anyway, yeah, 2008, I started on another heavier, stronger chemo, adromycin. Now this was a little bit different story. I lost my hair, I lost my eyebrows, I lost my, I, I, I was so fatigued I could hardly get out of bed and, and I had blisters in my mouth. It was really pretty, pretty yeah. crummy time. Yeah. But I could only have six of these doses of this, but it was real strong. So I took the six doses and then uh, everything was pretty good. And so I, from uh, May of that year, to June to January, I was like not on any chemo. Well, I decided, okay, you know, I'm gonna live each day the best I can oh, yeah. and do the Damn. most I can and yes. take advantage of every situation. So <clears throat> Jim and I went on several trips. <coughs> yes, sir, Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. We love to travel, so we said, okay. You know, let's let's go. Where are we going to go? So we took cruises and we traveled and we went and saw people and went to different places and just had a really nice time. So that was um, the end of Jan uh, of December of 2008. So this past January, I went back in and they said, "Well, dear, you started growing again." So I said, "Oh, okay. Well, so they uh, they put me on another chemo." Uh, and they, I was on that till August of this year, and it was a, a fairly good, uh, easy chemo. It wasn't a problem really. Just tired is the main thing is the fatigue when you're on that chemo. Anyway, all that to say, God was just so faithful uh, to us through all of this, and <clears throat> so uh, I was on the trabecidin for till August of this year. Well, I went in in August and they said, well, said, this is your, the tumors have become immune to this chemo, said, there's really nothing we have left for you, said, the only thing we have, well, could give you possibly 10% of, of uh, any kind of, a, of a, a healing or any kind of a relief or any kind, and said, going through the, if you're feeling good, said, going through the chemo is going to be worse than what you're, what you're, you know, going to, have to deal with later. Amen. So we, we opted at that point because we were going to go do surgery. And so we thought, well, we're going to take surgery and get these, the rest of these tumors out. But they they are, um, they advised against that because it was such a long, drawn out, hard surgery and I would be not feeling good, blah, blah, blah. This kind of stuff. So anyway, we decided not to do the, the any more chemo. And uh, that was in uh, August of this month. Uh, October this past year. 
in 2009. And uh, so we just said, okay, uh, God, it's up to you. Whatever, oh, yeah. whatever you're going to do, um, we just put this into your hand. So <clears throat> we did that. Let's see. Oh. So we put, you know, we put our, our faith and our trust always in God. Amen. Um, we didn't. I never did blame God for for this, and I never felt uh, angry at God. I, I just knew He was just my He's my daddy God, you know, Amen. and He's going to take care of me Amen. and whatever I need to walk through. That's what I need to walk through, and I will do it the best I can. So we've been, you know, doing everything we could that we wanted to do that we felt like we could do. So anyway, well, like uh, we were on a cruise in the in September, and uh, we were sitting on the balcony. I was sitting on the balcony, and right outside the, the balcony was two little porpoises. Just jumped up like that. I got so excited. I said, oh, God, thank you so much. Because, you know, you never know if you're going to see any animals or what when you're on these cruises. And I said, thank you so much. That's just so delightful. And he said, honey, he said, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> And so I, I, I don't know, I could have taken that two ways. I, I could have been, I haven't seen anything here on earth, but I definitely haven't seen anything that's in heaven that can compare to anything like that. So uh, he's just been so, so close to us. And then a lot, about hmm, two or three months ago, well, I had a friend in Florida that passed away uh, after having cancer for 20 years. And I was sitting out on the deck and just kind of, you know, thinking, and it's like, almost like she appeared, but she didn't really appear. I just, just kind of figured if they see her, she said, come on, girl. I said, it's great up here. You know, she had passed away, so she was reassuring me how wonderful heaven really was, and that, that I could trust God, that he would, would take me through all of this. Oh, yeah. And so, we know that for sure. Um, there's, um, sometimes you wonder, well, when people have cancer, what do you how do you deal with that? How do you how do you inter interact with people that have cancer? And my advice to anybody that is in that situation is to uh, you know be sensitive, but don't sweep it under the rug. Talk about it if they want to talk about it. A lot of people want to talk about it. Uh, some people don't. But I I have had the privilege of just sharing with my friends exactly what I feel, exactly what I think. And it's been really, really a good thing. So um, then I, I also, you know, if you've got things that you want to do in your life, don't wait. If you have cancer or if you don't have cancer, it's time to get on and do what you want to do. Don't wait for the future because you never know what, you know, what's going to stop that. So I have places I want to go. I have things I want to do. I have projects I want to finish. And God is just helping me with all of that. And we're just <clears throat> so thankful to him for that. Amen. And everything, but when you go through this, you, you learn to approach every situation through the eyes of eternity. You know, is this little petty thing going to mean something, or is it just going to be nothing compared to what eternity is? And you know, there's really not much that's worth getting all upset about that's right. when you think about how long you're going to eternity is and Amen. how it just, it just melts away so you, you try to keep your head on straight and do what you have to yeah. do when we first started this program this program yeah I guess it was God's program but anyway when we first started this I said you know if if God can get the glory any kind of glory out of me walking through cancer then I'll walk it because that's what I want is for him to get the glory and because it's all about him anyway, you know, we're just vessels and we're just here, but we, we have to point the way to the Lord. And whether he heals you miraculously or whether he takes you through it and you go on to be with him, it's still for his glory. Amen. It's still for his glory. And that's what Amen. that's what we want, you know, because that's what's important. Okay, I think that just got takes it because you know it is God's glory, uh, and we yeah. want more of us, more of Him, and less of us. Yes, because that's where the where it comes.